Hello and welcome back. This is part 3 of Let's Blend a Bow. I will be unwrapping the bow and doing some texturing. And to wrap the series up, I will put a little animation of the textured bow at the end. So let's open Blender and get started. Right, so we are going to start off by unwrapping our bow so we can texture it. But first, uh, we need to move the different parts of the bow um, away from each other so not only is it easy to unwrap but it's easy to mark the seams and texture and I'm using integers to move them, I'm not just scrolling them, I'm not just dragging them apart otherwise I can't get them back to the exact same position so make sure you do that as well um, if you'd have seen let's blend a shield you'd know how to unwrap so I'm just going to skip the unwrapping because it can get quite boring marking the seams and all so I'm just going to skip that part okay we've marked all the seams and we're going to unwrap it now and arrange them on the UV image editor drag open a new window Make sure they're all selected and you unwrap. But there's a slight problem here. If you look at the bottom, um, all the bow is squashed into a small space. We're just going to cut that in half by marking the seam in the middle. Just so we can get more detail. We unwrap it again. And there we go. You can already see that we've used up lots more space. I know I've said in the past that you should never waste pixels but there is a small exception to the rule let's say one part of the model has got a higher resolution, much higher resolution texture than the other it's going to look a bit weird so for consistency you should try and keep them roughly the same but other than that try and yeah try and, uh, not to waste any pixels and use up all the space you can so you'll see that I won't take up all the space for just that reason. And if you're wondering why the string at the top, I've hardly used any space for it. That's because I'm using a solid colour to texture it. And that's because it'll be so small you won't even see it most of the time. It'll be like maybe a couple of pixels thick on the screen just a tiny bit of string uh, so that's why I'm doing a solid colour ok we're going to make a new image once you've done that call it bow or whatever you like and it's black by default because we haven't painted it on anything on it yet So um, I've provided a link in the description to the textures, again they're from Open Game Art, it's a really good site, you should uh, have a visit there. I'm using a leather texture and a dark wood texture. Again I think I'm going to skip the texturing part because it can get quite boring. If you're unsure on it, just watch Let's Blend a Shield. Just uh, watch our texture in that video. It's basically the same here. So select the leather texture and just open it. And just start painting your texture on the handle. One, um, well, a couple of tips. You should um, do it at a distance because if you do it too close, the detail is too small and you want to get a uh, quite big detail on it especially for a high resolution texture and the same for the bow as well 
so I'm just gonna skip over this part and I'm also gonna generate normal maps in Crazy Bump so just watch Let's Blend a Shield if you don't know how to do that okay we've textured the bow I've gone into Crazy Bump and generated normal and specular map now we're just going to apply them to the bow we don't want it to be too shiny after all it is it is just wood okay we're going to choose our three textures now the color texture or the diffuse the bump map or the normal map and the specular map or you can call it the shininess map doesn't really matter the, there's just the technical terms now I've used the default naming conventions in Crazy Bump but if you've called them something different that's fine make sure you hit image sampling normal map there we go um, always always coordinates UV when you've made the texture yourself and RGB to intensity geometry and you don't want it to fuse And finally, we're going to add the specular map. Now this needs to influence the specularity intensity so untick the other boxes and that's finished add a lamp oops wrong one move the camera a bit closer and that should do it and we're just going to do a still render oops ah oh, I know what I've done that's what happens when you don't hit UV that's what generated looks like it's horrible so I'm just gonna go into normal map and change it back to UV generated this if you haven't unwrapped it and it will just generate the coordinates for you Right, that's sort of the texture out, but it's a bit shiny. We'll just change that by um, lowering the hardness and um, making it reflect a darker colour and lowering the intensity. Oops, I need to make that smaller, not bigger. Okay, let's try another render. Okay, that's a lot better. So, um, this has been the the final episode, the last episode of Let's Blend a Bow. I am gonna do a video animation render uh, to end the episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you later.
You thought I'd gone, didn't you?